Welcome to Channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on a little bit on the side so once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one to getting all the notification and insight to how you could actually potentially getting your visa. Okay, now it's an exciting day. It's the 16th of February 2022. Now 2022 is exciting because as I predicted that uh, due to pandemic and the um, also elections coming up there's a lot of advantages policies uh, towards the new amended migration and visas for australia now we have received a notification from south australia where they're now open for well i think every single occupation for offshore applicants but before we start we have another news came out yesterday, late yesterday. Uh, it's about Western Australia. So if you are already enrolled as an international student, you're welcome to enter Western Australia. Well, that's great because what happened in the past few weeks, a month, uh, a lot of international students enrolled in other states had already commenced or arrived in Australia. But WA. So anyway, I'm not too sure how they start getting student arriving. Well, it's the 16th of February. Well, just say for example, school students, they the, the the semester restart. What about the uh, university students? Um, I think they will start next week or another two. But anyway, um, if you are ready and enroll for WA's uni or institution, TAFE, whatever. Uh, check your air tickets you may um, go there now before you go make sure you have double jab double vaccinated and plus uh, 24 hours prior your uh, boarding you get a uh, uh, rapid antigen test okay now the exciting stuff now this actually came out yes uh, a couple of days ago the news it basically says today the 16th of february in the ACST time, which I think is now, because that's 2 p.m. Uh, we, I think we're already past 2 p.m. for that timing there. Um, so, and they're ready to submit new, uh, to accept new ROI uh, called the uh, uh, registration of interest. So, for South Australian state nomination, prospective applicant must meet department home affairs requirement. That's the standard requirement you get that 65 points and the state specific occupation requirement we're gonna go up there but obviously i'm not gonna go through the whole 259 occupations but i'm gonna pick a few or probably more uh, to go through each category so let's go into the nitty-gritty all right uh if you're not too sure about this one this is a whole occupation list of south australia now south australia has done a magnificent job on getting this beautiful search engine for all the occupations rather than you know for example in new south Wales, you have to go through one by one which is crazy but what you can do here is basically punch whatever the occupation that you're in and then you'll have that result straight away or if you leave a blank you will have the all I don't know 200 or 300 occupations listed down there but what what I'm gonna do now as you can see it still say update 14th of february but let me update that i think that should uh have everything there because i've checked it the information in there that it does include a lot of offshore options now first of all if you're a farmer or grower you click on the detail you may see offshore you start popping up information there here we go so if you're a flower grower you need to provision plus that means IL 7.5 and you get minimum 65 point and you can access to 491 and the ROI requires you to have at least eight years work experience that, that is the hardest thing uh, why aren't they I think previously how they done and they put eight years for all the trades uh, that was the first initial open up for the offshore applicants but 
anyway i'm not too sure if they will uh, change anyhow uh let's let's pick something else the crop farmer let's go okay offshore again so it's similar so all the farm i believe all the farmers will be similar 65.4491 provision plus eight year of experiences um dairy cattle farmer is the same okay so all the farmer our ag agricultural people is the same so let's go to mixture uh, mixed crop it's the same so 65.491 eight years of work experiences and a provision plus that's aisle 7.5 let's go to the managers let's start with the sales and marketing all right same thing 65.491 provision plus and also eight years of work experiences let's go for something else finance manager okay uh Whoa, it's not available. <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure why. Okay, anyway, probably Australia uh, in-house and domestically have already enough uh, the financial managers or human resource. Okay, 65 points, it's 491 profession plus. Uh, and what about construction project manager? Uh, again, it's the same, but look at, look at this. This offshore is open for 190 as well. So perhaps you want the aim uh, points higher than 65 so you have that there um, engineer manager let's have a look uh, 491 only but they need 85 points at least uh, and the English requirement is superior that's IELTS 8 so it's it's actually very exciting how they start to open up all the offshore but the criteria is quite high uh, but anyway um, South Australia is uh, probably one, one of the most beneficial state has been given privilege by the federal government so they have a lot of quotas so if you and your friends meet this quite these requirements why not why not okay uh, child care center manager um, provision plus 65.491 only and eight years of work experiences now let's go into perhaps welfare it's the same uh, ICT manager that like, will we'll go in there very soon um, let's go for ICT project manager um, okay 65 point provision plus 491 only eight years of work experiences uh, I ICT manager not too sure how project manager and I manager is, will it be any differences so it's the same but make sure you if you want to if you interested about uh, general skill migrations remember skill assessment is the key is the mandatory is the first step to go there sport admin no no not for offshore that means uh, australia will have domestically will have enough sport admin Spe specialist managers not there not open uh qs it's the same okay now let's move on to hospitality retail services so we start with cafe restaurant managers let's have a look okay proficient so ios 7 only not 7.5 it's not provision plus so it's a little bit different it's much better uh 65 point require 491 only and you must have eight years of work experience again you need to get eight years what about hotel motel manager um it's the same it's the same okay accommodation i believe accommodation will be the same so 65 point proficient english not not required proficient plus uh what about fitness not enough fitness people in australia and they don't need any offshore sports center manager not okay customer service manager let's have a look oh it's actually quite higher ios is ios 7.5 compared to the other previous um uh, managers that we have uh, looked into okay let's move to art media and profession uh interestingly they put more they put um alphabetical order that's why dancers are up there the first i've never done a dancer migrating to australia before uh well they're looking for offshore dancer who has well, eight years of work experience and the ielts is only require competent that's ielts six so you need to go up to seven okay well interesting uh, music director again uh, ielts is lower <laughs> very interesting photographer um ielts six well probably if you're a very experienced photographer that's probably the way to go offshore and you all need IL6 but you need to get eight years of work experiences book editor interesting well your IELTS need to be higher because you're a writer 
uh, right? So you need to get aisle seven there. A director of film, television, radio, stage, uh, higher English minds require aisle seven. Uh, you can see all across uh, the occupation that so far we have um, go through all require eight years of work experiences. Now there are some is less, but we let's see if we can find them. Um, stage manager, eight years. Uh, technical di director, video editor, um, producer, copywriter. It's, it's, so I think they are all at the same mark. Well, they don't need copywriter offshore. Interesting. Uh, what about newspaper editor? Um, no offshore too. Oh, interesting. Uh, television journalist. No, no offshore. So I believe these are uh, news related uh, profession. They are all sourcing uh, domestically rather than giving out offshore. Now let's move to business, human resource and marketing profession. Let's start with the accountants. Uh, Offshore, not available. Wow. And not even, look at this, not even South Australian. Only available for Talent Innovator Program. That means they, they need to go through a small business setup. So, uh, accounting, you can see accountant is not favorable in the state of South Australia. What about management accountant? Okay, well, they can still take management accountant, but not accountant general. That, that is a very interesting fact. Look at this. This is I've never seen an occupation listed like this in South Australia's website. Uh, that's very sad. Um, management accountant not for offshore because um, taxation thing. It's how you can't really get offshore people because the taxation law and things uh, is quite well. Every country is different, so obviously you can't get offshore but uh, company secretary probably oh no you cannot get offshore uh, company company secretary auditor I don't think so because same thing it's all tax related stuff you don't get um, Australians taxation law knowledge offshore I mean outside of Australia well that's pretty uh, that's that's pretty fair uh, stock broker no, not I think the finance sector is really hard because the reason is uh, under the banking law or related finance law. Uh, if you're not a permanent resident or a citizen of Australia, you cannot actually work in Australia. So you need to get that and then get a license to work there. So obviously it's not gonna even if they open by law, they cannot even get the registration or whatever that is that required okay um let's have a look actually now that should be open they need IELTS 7 65 point and eight years of work experiences and that should be the same for mathematicians uh and uh, economist if you're an economist uh, okay it's the same 65 point with profession profession plus english um management consultant okay so a lot of people work in the big four um, accountancy like the uh, PwC, KPMG, uh, you name those ones. Uh, if you're a management consultant, here we go. Uh, profession plus in English, IELTS 7.5 with eight years of work experiences. Okay, let's move down, pick something else. ICT, business development manager. Um, it's the same. So provision plus in English, 65.491, eight years of work experiences. Technical sales representative, I've got some client like this ones. Same thing, I was, you need to get IELTS 7.5 and it's the same. Okay, engineers, perhaps they need less requirement English, right? Hmm, let's have a look. If you're a pilot, no, you can't do that because under the aviation related law, uh, you need to have PR or citizenship to actually fly aeroplane in Australia okay so that's uh, shipmaster I think the same okay architects let's have a look no they don't want offshore app uh, architects oh interesting um, cartographer how about that now the cartographer is fine so if you're just drafting stuff for the architects they will take it but with the profession plus English 65.491 only with eight years of work experiences how about fashion designer it's the same, okay. Industrial designer, jewelry designer. I think that will be the same. Graphic designer, um, the same. Eight years of work experiences. Web designer, okay. So same. Web and multimedia. 
it should be the same okay now bear in mind today today's video we are only focusing on the offshore if you're interested about the onshore and all the other criterias I've done a separate video previously now today's video is all about offshore uh, so all the engineer how we start with civil engineer uh, namely superior English that's IELTS 8 across full band and 85 points wow that is massively what about material engineer well it's the same well, I wonder how the these people if they can meet those criteria probably can do a global talent visa already uh, geotechnical engineer offshore is the same 85 point well that is too hard for these uh, engineers electrical engineer it's the same 85 points okay let's um, aeronautical I think that will be the same 80 well they're not open for aeronautical what about agriculture engineer uh, 85 points and eight years of work experience agriculture consultant uh, no drop it down to uh, proficient plus uh, and 65 point eight years of work experiences okay why maker I doubt they were actually whoa they they want offshore people okay interesting 65 point as well eight years of work experiences life scientists uh, so it's the same so generally that we so far I think we have moved more than half of the occupation here um, we can see that generally all the offshore 491 uh, there's a limited occupation you might want to do your own digging uh, they're open for 190 but generally they're all 491s uh, and also um, uh, 65 points proficient plus that's 7.5 Isles and you need to have at least eight years of work experiences so that is someone has to be in their mid 30s to actually meet this requirements uh, myth missiologist um, yeah it's the same so provision plus 65 491 eight years of work experience education professional okay now um, let's start with the early childhood teacher proficient plus well that's a requirement for skill as, uh, assessment anyway so it's the same 65.8 years so I think across and to secondary will be uh, the same so that's the same um, then that's uh, educating advisor. Uh, what about lecturer? You know, what's lecturer? What's this? Oh, professional. Lecturer. That's the same. Okay, that that's stayed the same. Uh, teacher of English not available. No. <laughs> if you want to English teachers, just find one in Australia. Don't go and get anyone externally offshore. <laughs> that's very interesting. Um, health professional, um, dietitians, profession plus sixty five points and eight years of work experiences let's just pick something else otherwise I think the whole thing will be the same dentist dentist is not open for offshore or natural path not open for offshore acupuncturist not open for offshore Ooh, uh, chiropractor uh, there's off offshore open but chiropractor need a superior English ah not too sure how that will work uh, what about retail pharmacist proficient plus well I think retail pharmacists require to talk more um, during their profession and career but chiropractor need a superior English I'm not too sure how they end up with that one um, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner let's have a look wow not available wow okay looks like they have enough Chinese medical people there uh, Chinese medicine people uh, interesting uh now um podiatrist um okay superior english i think literally they should just get proficient will meet the requirement i'm not too sure why they need superior english for these health and medical professions uh neurologist um superior as well I don't, it's, they are, they oh but look at this look at this one um they only need three years of work experiences wow that's that's pretty cool uh, that's pretty cool I mean a lot of people can meet that requirement but a neurologist required to have IELTS superior level don't think people working in the hospital required to have that high English proficiency what about medical oncologist superior as well okay they only need three years did I miss anything else well oh, everything up there was eight years right but these ones uh, are more specialist um, uh, medical professionals 
could actually have only three years of work, but they obviously required your know, superior that's perfecting their English psychiatrist uh, again three years as well uh, cardio surgeon three years of work experience interesting very very interesting um, uh, what about okay midwife let's go to uh, nurses and midwife five years okay so they, they are still putting more emphasis and fa favor to all these medical I think it's you know, of course due to pandemic uh, but nurses need to have less English requirement uh, let's pick another registered nurse um, five years of work experience well wow, that's 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 fair that's fair um, again five year work experience that's pretty good okay ICT now I think that will be the uh, last bit uh, let's start with the business analysis wow 90 point but they only need competent english that's our six and five years of work experiences interesting well web developer 90 points eight years of work wow that's very very different system analysis let's have a look eight years 90 point competent english multimedia specialist uh, eight years 90 point competent wow so in ICT sector, it's almost every single occupation differ. Uh, program develop uh, programmers, software program. Wow, they're not open for offshore. <laughs> they have enough software programmer. What about software engineer? They don't need offshore software tester. Um, no, every anything along with software, they do not want anyone from offshore. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, data admin. Um, okay, Compton, 90 points, 8 years. That is actually very, very hard. How do you get to that kind of... Whew. Okay, Communication Network Engineer. 90 point, 8 years of work and competent English. That I think that's 90, that 90 point is actually very hard. Your IELTS probably will need to perfect the superior to hit yourself into that 90 point mark. Um, oh, uh, we still got more legal people now. Barrister. Uh, not open solicitor not open i think um why why do they have these here then um well they can do a domestic but not offshore um psychologist is in what category is this one legal social and welfare okay interesting how they categorize the occupations here uh, superior english 65 point and five years so again anything required a medical uh, is actually lower let's go to fair work fa welfare worker um 65 point well company english only but eight years of work experiences the final part is the technicians that's all the technician life science of technicians um i think that'll be following with the profession 65 points and eight years of work experiences so let me just pick any of these ones uh wow this one needs 685 points what's this one this mechanical engineer tra traits uh radio communication technicians okay so, so 65 point pl uh, proficient plus and eight years of work experience automotive okay interesting one okay uh profession plus wow how do you get an electrician with ielts profession plus but it's actually less experiences required work experience okay model mechanic offshore let's have a look competent english is only now i'm not too sure why electrician need to have proficient plus english but model mechanic only need competent that's fair uh and 65 point and only five few years of work experiences interesting <laughs> okay uh, a diesel model mechanic well, let's have a look what competent okay only two years of work experiences wow they must need a lot they need a lot of diesel mechanic or oh, let's let's go for that one um now metal fabricator five years uh welder five years um and locksmith let's have a look um okay they need offshore competent english only five years of work experiences uh and the final one is uh construction trades workers uh let's go for carpenter uh, five years of work experiences um plumber hmm five years competent english uh and gas feeder let's go um same thing okay Electro technology, so electricians, mm, it's the same. So the, all these trades used to be eight years uh, experiences required. Remember back um, 
six months ago probably i can't remember the date and they opened for 1902 so they so back then was only open for 491 and only they require eight years of work experiences now it's more favorable they drop it down to five years of work experiences and they're open for 190 is that all across all the trades look at this they um yeah gas fitter that's all across the trades very interesting let's uh let's go for um cabler yeah 190 as well in five years of work experience the food trade worker baker cook chef interesting one um eight years of work so that's the same so but ios require is has been dropped to competent so only competence require uh florist 65 points landscape gardener not too sure i haven't done any landscape gardener yet um nursery person competent english five years of work experiences and other technicians and trade workers anyway i will probably leave that there i think that will be enough for uh and there's help there's a lot more than down here okay dental technician um offshore they can take dental technician but look at this aisles with provision plus eight years of work experience i don't know how they can actually find those people uh sport people i think that would be hard fly attendant not available uh for uh, tennis coach not available for offshore footballer uh not available for and, and the jockey not available for offshore um anyway i think that's that will demonstrate enough for you uh it's a little bit long video because i basically go through a lot of uh, occupation there today anyway should you have more question query more than welcome to leave a comment right down below and i'll see you next video goodbye